Hello, I made two previous videos showing you how to get the images into a Genesis slider or a Genesis responsive slider. But to keep the videos short, I didn't show you all the other settings that you can have. Now, it, the, this is the plugin. We're talking about a Genesis responsive slider plugin. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> now, it's a WordPress plugin. Um, and this is the effect it makes happen these sliding images. It's for the Genesis framework and this is a Studio Press theme. Now, there are loads and loads of different settings. The bit at the top here is how you actually put the, um, the, the images into the slider. Now I dealt with that in a previous video so we won't, I won't dwell on that one. Um, we'll get down to this one, number of posts to offset. Sometimes you might have a reason why you don't want your most recent post to appear in the slider and so you can offset it by one and that would mean the, your most recent post wasn't in the slider or you could offset it by two, three, four, five, however, however many you want. Um, you can order the slides by the date of the... all your slides are posts or pages um, so you've got to make a post or a page and put an image inside that post or page um, and those images that are inside the post or page will appear in the slider but you can order them so I suppose you've got three you might have um, order it by the title the date the ID or just have it working sort of randomly and you can order it descending or ascending so you can have from the oldest to the newest or the newest to the oldest what else can you have these uh, transition settings is how fast the slider will slide so if I increased that to say one just show you <laughs> now it's going reasonably slowly you see how much it speeded it up and that's what that setting does so where did we get to uh, so that was the uh, transition settings time between slides slider effect now there's two plugins there's the Genesis slider and the Genesis responsive slider and the Genesis slider has more set more of these uh, different types of uh, effects you can have this is the slide Genesis slider which has more effects than the Genesis responsive slider but I'll just show you basically what the difference is that's <laughs> that's sliding sideways um, now this is a different type of an effect this is called wipe see how it changes in a different way it's just a different effect and the Genesis slider has more of those effects than the Genesis responsive slider um, what else can you do when it says scroll I'll just set it back to uh, scroll right this loop or rewind if you set this to rewind if it is to loop, it'll just keep going round and round and round in circles. If it's to rewind, when it gets to the end of the say three slides or whatever, it will kind of zoom backwards. So I'm gonna we'll refresh the page. Right, so one slide, two slides, three slides. Now what will happen? It'll go backwards. You see? So that's what that one does. Where did we get to? that's rewind slides if you set to rewind slides instead of loop slides it will kind of zoom backwards at the end when it gets to the suppose you've got three or four slides when it gets to the end display settings you've got to put the size you need for your images in there that's important and this navigation you can set the arrows these little arrows you can set them so that you get the displayed or not displayed so if we put that as none it says navigation Navigation, none. Um, save our settings and the little arrows will disappear. So these little arrows will disappear. Gone. So what else can we change? On the Genesis responsive slider, this, this is the settings page for the Genesis responsive slider, and that has slightly different ways of doing it. It's got what they call pagination as well. So you you've got display next and previous arrows or pagination and what you've got with pagination is uh, they're just the little buttons, you see these little buttons here that's them right let's see what else have we got uh, 
content setting. Now this is for the actual content box, this box here. You can change things about this. So look at content settings. Do not link slider image to the post or page. So this one, if we click it, we'll go to the actual page on our website that the slider came from. This picture in the slider comes from that page. But uh, if we click that, do not link slider to that page, what happens is, see now you can click it, we change the settings, now you can't click it. That's what that one does. Uh, you can put the post title in the slider. So at the moment, that slide, it doesn't have a, um, a headline there, but we've, we've added one. And now it's got the headline, you see? What's next? Now with this display content, you've got different things you can display. You can display the excerpts or the, the content. Now, if you display the content, you've got to choose how many characters you're going to limit it to. And if you put too big a number in there, let's see. We put loads and loads of text in there. We're putting 1,950 characters in. I'm just doing, doing this to show you that uh, you don't want too many characters because some of these, all the sliders are different and some of them, you can't put a lot of text in some of them or else the box breaks. So I wonder if I've clicked the save button. I don't think I have, I'm not sure. Let's have another try. Oh, where have I gone wrong there then? Let's see. Ah, that's excerpt. So you've got to click display post content and then there we go you see it's sort of broken the box it's there's too many characters in there so be careful if you choose um, display post content as opposed to display excerpts don't put too many characters in here it won't look right this is the width of the um, this box here we can change how wide it is so let's change it to say 200 so that box will be will be narrower when we update it see it's a narrower box that doesn't always seem to work I'm not sure why but sometimes it just doesn't seem to work it can set the settings but it just doesn't actually happen um, and this one is location and you can have it bottom or top left and right so if we put it top left now instead of bottom right we'll see what that does so it's now bottom right we've changed it and it's top left so you can change that well I think that's got us to the end of the uh, the thing oh you can also change the, the continue reading text you see this text here that says continue reading if you want to change that just type whatever you want in here you don't need those little square brackets but it makes it a bit easier for people to uh, understand what's going on now I made some um, little thing for you um, I'll just leave it a few seconds each one if you get stuck just stop the video at this point and uh, read through but um, I don't think you should get stuck the main point is that you need to know that the ID numbers for the, if you use pages you need to know the ID numbers of each page and you need to know the size you've got to have the right size for the images and set the size in the plugin settings but other than that it's fairly once you understand how it works it, it's really easy to use and it uh, makes good looking little slider boxes one more scroll to do I think oh we're finished well thanks for watching I do hope you find it useful and this is what we've been dealing with, the Genesis slider and the Genesis responsive slider. Bye.